I was so surprised and taken back. Uh, I'm extremely, extremely proud and I'm extremely, um, I'm still excited about it. It was such an amazing surprise. I was not expecting it. I just really come to work and try to do my best. I try to be the third or fourth hands that my nurses need. So, um, yeah, I was in shock. I'm still in shock. <laughs> I'm still surprised. Dominic is a patient care tech on labor and delivery. Um, she frequently works our registration desk. Um, it's a very important part of the floor. Every single patient that comes through labor and delivery stops at that desk. I am one of the first faces they get to see when they step on our unit. And so I feel like my job is to help them feel heard. You know, when you're coming to give birth, whether it's your first child or your fourth child, it's every pregnancy is different. It can be, it's a beautiful experience, but it's a, it can be a frightening experience as well. So I try to take um, those mamas that come in and let them know that it's okay to be scared. They have a voice. You can talk, let's have a conversation. What are you scared about? What are you excited about? I want them to know that they're not a number. They are getting an individualized experience and birthing experience as well. So I want them to feel comfortable and feel special. She comes into work with a positive attitude every single day. A coworker said to me yesterday, it's amazing. She comes in with a smile and she leaves with a smile no matter what happened in that shift. And her personality and her charisma and how um, the energy that she has is just contagious on the floor. Um, she's very helpful to the nurses. She takes initiative to ask, even if they're not asking her to do something, she's asking them, how can I help you? What can I do? Um, and those types of employees are extremely valued on the floor. Before I came to labor and delivery, I worked at UAMS as float pool. So I went to all the units. And so based off that experience, I kind of get pulled to do just a little bit of everything. My experience, it has um, pretty far ranges. So if they need me to help specifically on labor and delivery, that's where I'll be. If they need me to go to triage, I hop into triage. If they are short staffed on postpartum, I go up to postpartum and help them up there too. So kind of wherever they need me, they know they can send me in. I'm gonna go to work. Being named MVP, it's, it's such an extreme honor for me um, to be nominated by my peers and my unit and my team. It's everything. It's the hard work is worth it. The sacrifice, the staying over your shift to help out. It's all been noticed and it's all been appreciated. And so I'm extremely proud uh, to be carrying this title and to be representing my unit. And I'm so thankful that they see me in such of a light.